Cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of death globally. Every year, heart disease and stroke causes as many deaths as AIDS, diabetes, plus all forms of cancer combined. These deaths occur almost equally in both men and women. Heart disease and stroke is the number one killer of women in Singapore, a fact that only 8% of Singaporean women are aware of. In 2007, heart disease and stroke accounted for 1 in 3 deaths in women in Singapore. Today we have with us Dr. Go Pingping from the Department of Cardiology in Changi General Hospital. She is the official spokesperson for the Go Rip for Women campaign, which seeks to increase women's awareness about heart health. She will share with us more about the importance of heart health and how women can play a more active role in protecting themselves from heart disease and stroke. Good afternoon, Dr. Go. Good afternoon, I'm Dr. Go Ping Ping. I'm the Chief of Cardiology in Changi General Hospital. In my daily work, I look after patients who have heart disease, many of whom have serious heart conditions such as heart attacks and heart failure. But uh, I'm also very interested in educating the public about the risk of heart disease and what somebody can do to prevent heart disease. Okay, so how do you get involved with Go Rate for Women? Well, I have been involved in Go Rate for Women for the past three years. And I first got involved uh, when someone from the Singapore Heart Foundation approached me to give a health talk to the public about heart disease. And from there, I realised that there is a knowledge gap and there are many people uh, who are interested to find out more about heart disease uh, and how to prevent heart disease. What are the main causes of heart disease and stroke and how concerned should we be about it? Well, uh, we know from uh, figures from our own uh, Ministry of Health that heart disease and stroke as a whole has been a major cause of death uh, for quite a few years already. And this trend is also the same worldwide. So we are actually looking at a significant public health problem, especially as our population grows older. Normally, we will lump uh, heart disease and stroke together as cardiovascular disease because they share common risk factors. These risk factors uh, include hypertension or high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, obesity, smoking and uh, lack of exercise and also family history. And why do you think heart disease and stroke is the number one killer for women in Singapore? Well, I think the figures tell us so and also because uh, in a developed country like Singapore, I think uh, the sedentary lifestyle and also uh, obesity is actually becoming uh, quite a common problem. So as such, uh, women can be prone to heart disease and I think this is uh, especially significant to women because we know that uh, in women, the heart disease may manifest itself with rather atypical symptoms compared to men. So it is actually harder to detect. And so what are the, these atypical symptoms? Well, when we talk about typical symptoms in the first place, uh, we usually refer to chest pain. So chest pain is actually the commonest symptom in both men as well as women when they have heart disease, especially heart attack. Uh, but we do know that a significant proportion of women, uh, even when they are having serious heart problems, their symptom is uh, so-called atypical because uh, they present with like breathlessness or even tiredness or uh, abnormal heartbeat, giddiness, fainting spell and so forth. Uh, so what are some of the misconceptions that women have about heart disease? In general, people tend to think that heart disease is something that affects uh, men. So women tend to underestimate uh, their own risk. And also many women uh, may not realise that prevention really can be as simple as changing some aspects uh, in their lifestyle, including be more active, adopt an exercise regime, as well as uh, taking care of the diet. Um, can heart disease and stroke happen to anyone regardless of age? Uh, yes, it can happen to anyone regardless of age, although it gets more common as a person ages. So it is rather rare for men uh, below 50 years old and women below 60 years old to have heart disease. But uh, if they have risk factors, especially if they have a family history or genetic predisposition, or uh, they smoke cigarettes, uh, or they happen to also have uh, high blood pressure or high cholesterol, then uh, they will be at added risk and they can have heart disease even when uh, they are young. Uh, do you have any personal experiences or encounters that you would like to share with heart disease and stroke? Uh, well, um, 
I have uh, looked after many patients with heart disease and uh, many of them are actually very young and some are younger than I am. So when I see someone who is younger than I am who suffers from heart disease, then uh, you know, uh, usually it uh, makes me uh, feel uh, more, uh, uh, more to want to tell people about this so that it won't happen to people at an unnecessarily young age. How can women protect themselves and how regularly should they do medical checkups? Women can protect themselves, uh, first of all, by uh, addressing the risk factors that I mentioned earlier. And uh, that will mean that uh, even people who have no symptoms, uh, they should actually go for regular checks for their blood pressure, their blood cholesterol, as well as blood sugar. Um, and uh, it will also be helpful if uh, women are aware of what should uh, the normal uh, numbers be for all these risk factors. For example, for blood pressure, the blood pressure should be less than 140 upon 90. And uh, for uh, cholesterol, the, there is also a target level that uh, you know, women should be aware of. Um, and uh, one of the very basic uh, risk factors really is obesity, because obesity is closely related to many of these conditions that we mentioned. So uh, women should watch their weight very carefully and be aware of their body mass index. How can family and friends help women around them to protect against heart disease? Well, because uh, many of these risk factors really are related to our lifestyle, so I think uh, if people uh, around uh, women uh, take an interest also in their health and also uh, try to get them to engage uh, in exercise, healthy diet and so forth, then uh, I think many women will be more uh, keen to adopt these lifestyle changes if, uh, if they know that it uh, affects their loved ones and their loved ones are happy to see them adopt a more healthy lifestyle. Are there any avenues for people to find out more about women and heart health? Well, this Go Red for Women campaign is definitely one avenue that we hope will become a regular feature for women who want to find out more about heart disease. And uh, it is very fortunate that we are able to run this campaign over a fairly long period of time, starting as early as February and all the way up to May. So there will be a series of activities. Uh, we already had uh, a roadshow with health screening and uh, live demonstrations um, last week at Raffles Place. And this will be followed by other activities uh, targeted at different uh, sectors of the population, including a youth concert um, for the younger uh, people, uh, as well as uh, launch of our website uh, on Second Life to uh, help to educate the, the more IT savvy uh, uh, group. Then uh, we will also be having roadshows uh, at supermarkets uh, to teach people more about reading food labels and choosing their food and so forth. Well, I would uh, strongly encourage uh, the audience to uh, take an interest in our activities. I'm sure they can find out more information on the Singapore Heart Foundation website and uh, do come by uh, to our roadshows um, to have a look uh, at uh, the exhibits and the messages and also uh, to take part in the health screening. If they have never uh, checked their blood pressure, cholesterol and so forth, then I think this is a very good opportunity to do so at our health screenings. Thank you Dr. Go for helping us understand the issues revolving around women and heart health. Thank you. We hope that you have gained a better understanding about heart disease and stroke. It is not just a man's disease and it can happen to anyone at any time. So spread the word and let your friends and family know that they can play an active role in preventing heart disease and stroke. To participate in a Go Red for Women 2009, visit